Having said that, sinabi ko na sa inyo, galing sa China, according to De La Rosa, according to Pidea, according to Dangerous Drugs Board, galing sa China, and that must be addressed. Now, so far, Mr. President, we have identified drug lords here. Unahin natin, halimbawa, you see Jaguar. Ang pangalan noon ay, nalaman ninyo na pinatay siya siya ang drug lord ng Eastern Visayas, kung hindi yung nagkakamali. Ang pangalan niya, Franklin, ah, uh, tama ba yun? Ah, hindi. Ah, uh, ang pangalan niya, sorry, I just have to confirm that very well. Jeffrey Jaguar Diaz, Central Visayas Drug Lord. Sinunda nito ni Melvin Odikta, Dragon. Kung may Jaguar, may Dragon. At si Dragon rin, napas lang, kasama ng kanyang asawa. At makikita natin na ito ay pinatay noong August 29. But upon the other hand, marami nang nahuling drug lords. Kuno. Pero ang tanong ko, sinabi si Peter Lim, he was able to fly to China and back to the Philippines according to police intelligence given to President Duterte. Peter Wu Tuan Ko, drug lord, mastermind, beside being a new believed prison inmate, ayun ay nagahasik ng lagim at dilim doon sa Bilibid. Herbert Ampang Kulangko, a new believed prison inmate, about lahat sila, VIP treatment. May banda, may jacuzzi, maraming pera, maraming barrel. At yung nakikita nyo, nakalagay dyan sa New Believed Prison, nahuli yung dami ng baril doon sa loob ng pitang. Pakipatay lang yung ilaw para makikita naman natin yung pinapakita sa buwas sa atin dito. At para malaman ninyo na hindi lang drugs, hindi lang pati pera, marami, pati babae nakakapasok. At sabi ni Bato, doon ginagawa pa yung mga shabu na pinapalabas. <coughs> at alam natin, labas-pasok pa doon. At alam ko na nakakalabas kunyari mag-ospital, I have proof of that, na yung mga drug lord nakakalabas. Hindi lang yan. Pumapatay pa. Pumapatay pa. Nung ako'y unang senador, nagpunta sa akin si Mrs. Rosales, <coughs> kung ako nagkakamali, ako'y tumayo rito, at in-expose ko, pinatay siya ng motorcycle riding gunman sa Batangas, pinatay yung judge dahil kinonvict niya. At later on, in April this year, pinatay yung kanyang abogado, itong drug lord na ito. Dahil, di umano, binayara niya dapat yung judge ng 10 million, hindi niya nagap ng judge, binun sa di umano nung abogado. Kaya bumawi yung drug lord, pinatay yung abogado. <coughs> at pagkatapos, your honor, tinangkang, papatay, at titreten si Justice Art Brion. Malaking iskandula niya kung yan ay uungkatin. At alam ito ng kaibigan natin si Senator Ping Lacson. Pag man tinanong ko ito, kagad sinabi niya kagad si Justice Brion. And, Mr. President, ganyan katapang yung mga yan. Having said that, apart from the VIP treatment, meron na ba tayong closure? If you look at all the pictures, and if you can show the pictures, yung tumutugtog pa si Kulangko, meron nagsasaksipon dyan, marami na yan eh. Concert equipment, appliances found during Bilibid Raid. Had approval of former prison officials. Tanong, meron na ba tayong inimbestiga rito na prison official? Why? Wala po. Awanin. No closure. Next. Makikita nyo dyan na talagang marami nangyayari. Hindi na natin makikita yan. Can you go to the next slide, please? Galing sa China. Sinabi na po natin yan at makikita nyo. At ang nangyari na nga ay yung report nga to this day. To this day, Chinese laboratories are still operating in our cities. Just the other day, in Angela City, sa ilalim ng isang poultry farm, nahuli yung mga Chinese doon sa Angela City na may Shabu Laboratory. You all know that? That is a public knowledge. Ang lalakas ang loob pa rin. So, madaling sabi talaga, meron tayong kinakailangan gawin para talaga masuk po itong mga nagtitinda ng droga sa ating bayan. Meron pa rin drug making sa Valenzuela na nahuli, drug laboratories. Sa Paranaque Jail, pumutok about three weeks ago. Sumabog, may pasabog doon. Meron floating shabu laboratory na nahuli sa Subic Bay. May beloved Subic Bay. Nakita nyo na isang araw, meron nahuli doon, kinunvict, anim ata yung nakonvict sa Subic for drug pushing. So, makita ninyo, even that discipline has gone down. And talagang, there is proliferation of drugs. 
Nakikita nyo? Kayang suhulan ang mga nasa koreksyonal, kayang suhulan ang mga mayor, na tinanggal na rin ang maskara ng ating Pangulo. Although, of course, sabi ng iba, extrajudicial killing of reputation yon. But as you know, in libel cases, ang mga public officials, hindi tinatabla ng libelo. Sabagat that is to be expected. Dapat sagutin nila yung mga kasong yan. Although, mas siyempre, masakit kung hindi mo naman ginagawa. Eh, medyo nagkakaroon ngayon ng takot ang lahat. At least, nag-iingat. Mr. President, when we talk about drugs, terrorism, you know, all the other uh, things that plague us, such as uh, riding in tandem, vigilante killings, we have to make ourselves be aware of the situation in our country. We cannot be strangers. We cannot be outsiders. We cannot be mere watchers and say, it's none of my business because our country has been doing that. That is why, Mr. President, nabulaga tayo. Biglang lumabas lahat ang mga karumaldumal na nangyayari. 700,000 people have surrendered as drug pushers or drug users, and so many people have been killed. Now, because of what the President has done, and by the way, I'm not doing this for the President. I'd like to think that I'm doing this sincerely for our country. And let me just say, there's a lot of separation going on right now since the President started this effort. When he declared in the elections, before the elections, sabi niyang ganon, pag ako nanalo, magiging madugo. Maraming mamamatay ng mga pusher, mga drug users. Hindi siya nagtatago. Wala siya tinago sa atin. And perhaps because he knew ang pulso ng bayan, eh talaga suka-suka na, ayaw na, noong nangyayari, na napapababayaan na namamatay ang tao, nagkalat at nagtalamak ang droga, kahit na laban na laban si Senator Soto at iba mga kasama natin dito, ay wala pa rin nangyayari na talagang mabisa. And so today, nung manalo siya 6 million votes, and up to now, he has about 94% or 91% of the electorate saying they're for him at least insofar as August is concerned. I do not know what the latest, latest survey will indicate. But you have a president now that is a damn the torpedoes, down the throat, stare you down approach. Talagang diretsa ko doon nasa isip niya, nasa puso niya, sasabihin niya. And having said that, Mr. President, let us go through a travelogue, if you will, sa nangyayari sa bayan. Di ba niya napapansin? Marami ngayon talagang humihiwalay. They're trying to separate themselves from the situation of drugs. Bakit? Nakita ninyo, nung umupo, hindi pa siya umupo, marami nang namatay. Marami nang pinaslang. Bukod doon sa namamatay sa riding and tandem, maraming pinaslang ng mga drug pushers, drug users. Lalo na, lalo na, no, unprecedentedly, the President took out the maskara, tinanggal ang maskara ng ilang mga general, and unprecedentedly exposed their names to the public. Aba, di lalong dumami. Sapagat ngayon, yung mga polis na nag-aalaga ng droga, eh talaga siguro, sinabi ko na ito dati, they may be trying to separate themselves from their people who have been selling drugs for them so that they would enrich themselves at para mawala yan, they would separate them by eliminating them. That's a possibility, Your Honor. The second possibility is the drug lords are trying to separate themselves from their pushers because makahuli sila, baka may testigo na pag sinunda mo yung user, tinanong mo kung sino ang pusher niya at nahuli mo yung pusher, tinanong mo kung sino ang supplier ng pusher at tinanong mo yung supplier ng pusher kung sino talaga ang supplier doon sa kanyang region hanggang umabot ka doon sa pinakamataas na drug lord, ay may, may tama siya sabagat merong trail, merong witness trail na pwede magtestigo laban doon sa drug lord. In fact, in our hearings here, sinabi sa atin ng hearing ni Senator Dilema at saka ni Senator Lacson, tinanong natin, ano ang punod dulo nito? Tinanong ko si General De La Rosa at ang sabi niya, Ang puno dulo po nito ay galing sa China. Karamihan ang drugs. Walang pasubaling sinabi yan. And because of that, we wrote a letter right away to the DFA and thank the heavens, the DFA to Secretary Yasai acted and sent a letter right away to China. I cannot divulge because he asked me not to divulge it, but certainly I'm sure it got China's attention because no country would want to be accused that they are practically sponsoring the sending of drugs to another country. Having said that, Your Honor, it is important for us to understand that we have to make sure that uh, 
we understand where we're coming from. When the president says, papatay natin ang mga nagtudula, kahit hindi niya sinasabing patayin mo yan, ang ibig sabihin niyan, para may tacit order, tacit, implied order, na gagalaw at gagalaw yung polis, kahit walang alaga yan. At sasabihin niya, kailangan mo wala itong mga nagtudulak ng droga. In the process, baka madulas, baka mabayrate ang human rights sa sinasabi. Tama lang na maganda tayo sa human rights. Because no one in the Senate, I'm sure, will not protect human rights. Because that is our oath. Kasama sa oath natin yan. Na talagang to promote justice at saka italagang equality for all. And having said that, Mr. President, you have to make sure na tuloy nyo, after his inauguration, he again warned drug users and pushers that to stop and to surrender, uh, that to stop and to, to surrender. If not, he will expose them. And in fact, he did. And you know, since July 1, there have been almost 3,000 people killed. Unprecedented. Tatlong dibong kaluluwa ang namatay. And because of that, 700,000 drug users have surrendered or pushers of which 52,000 were drug pushers. Unprecedented. Magaling. Natakot. Luwabas lahat. Perhaps PNC, uh, sinabi ko na yung PNC are killing their snitches, pati yung mga drug lords, pinapatay ang kanilang anon, ang kanilang mga tauhan. And all of a sudden, some of us finally became aware that there was a huge problem. Finally, instead of saying, we do not want drugs, we do not want the crime situation in this country, for the first time, Sinasabi natin, dapat mapigil na yan. At sigaw lang tayo ng sigaw dati. Ngayon, may gumagalaw. Ngunit pag gumalaw ang pagulo, meron rin talbog yan. Talbog sa human rights na talagang it is not unexpected. Tama lang na may sasagot because kung mali ang ginagawa, dapat may tatayo. That is important in a democracy. Having said that, what is the prevailing drug situation in our country? 3.7 million Filipinos, according to the Dangerous Drugs Board and the PIDEA, are affected or infected by drugs. Of that, 1 million are young people. Ang daming bata sa Pilipinas, kung papabayaan natin ito, lalaganap ito, they will not have a future. Sayang yung ating demographics na dapat maganda sa bagat maraming bata, there are a lot of young people, na talaga makakakuha ng trabaho yung kung papaaralan natin ang gusto, Lalakas ang ating basa, pero kung ma, yan ay malululun sa masamang bisyo, ay eh talagang masisira pa ang ating kinabukasan ng ating bansak. 